Hi everybody, my name is Ben. I play in a band of horses and you're watching Toasted. Get some. Welcome to Lowlands, man. Thank you. Good. Yeah, we're glad to be here. Yeah, you didn't even play the gig yet. Your small one in the studio, but it was already outrageous. Yeah, I've sweat enough to do a whole gig already. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I feel like uh, now it's time to relax. No, not really. We have to play in a few hours, I think. Yeah. You looking forward? Oh yeah, absolutely. We did a Pukul Pop yesterday. I saw yeah. that. That was fantastic, we had man. A great time, man. We had a great time. So hopefully we can keep the ball rolling and and get some of that energy back for today. I saw snippets of your uh, gig uh, on Pukul Pop uh, yesterday. Uh, you have this fantastic back drop with oh, all the yeah. scenery oh, fantastic yeah. man yeah actually the stuff like um christopher who does our, our photography and stuff um he's running the projectors as well so we kind of bring he brings these images to life um now during our performances so it's nice we get like the visual aspect with hopefully some delicious music where is that shot i mean it's not all from laredo right no <laughs> no no i think he went he went all over the place he went to like uh, a lot of national parks in the u.s and um um, I think all over the place, man. He's always going somewhere crazy and, and shooting. Like you? Yeah, yeah, pretty much, right? Jeez, a yeah. fan of gypsies. A little bit, yeah. We've been we've been busy with this record and going everywhere, and luckily people are having us. So. Hey, what a fantastic album, man. Thanks. Yeah, we're we're happy with it. It's it's, it's actually it's out just, but it's already older, right? Because you've written the songs like two years ago, or? Yeah, yeah. I guess it still feels new, though. I mean. Um, in no way, I mean, I don't, I'm not even bored of the old songs from the other albums, but this definitely, there's still ones in there that are uncomfortable to play live, so oh, I know really? it's new enough, you know <laughs> what I mean? <laughs> a uh, song that I uh, really love is, um, of course, for Annabelle. Yeah, yeah, that's for my, my little daughter. So that must have been some impact uh, stuff going on when you had your, had your first daughter, right? Yeah, 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 that was a um, really inspiring time, man. I mean, the early waking up, you know, like, three o'clock in the morning and then putting her back to sleep and I'd, I'd go and write more songs. So um, yeah, she was a big inspiration for the whole record. And then I read in an interview that you did with Clash that uh, he said if one good thing from this album, one good thing is coming from this album, it should be that people are having kids or having babies or having sex after listening to it, right? One would hope, <laughs> yeah. Go make a baby to this one, man. It hey, worked for me, yeah. Another, it figures. <laughs> another weird fact that I found, it's not, nobody knows exactly when you were born. Is that true? It's really hard to tell, huh? Yeah. Um, but you know yourself probably, right? I there forgot. something in your I, passport. I can't remember the day, so I, me. I have no idea. Uh, it's a <laughs> well-kept secret. No, no, I, think, I, I didn't know that actually. It's so. on Wikipedia. I was like oh, browsing really? around like, nobody knows the exact date when he's born. April 25th, 1978. Thank you very much. Yeah. So we got that out of the way. That's right. Yeah, yeah. I'm an old person. Hey, you guys uh, had a lot of band changes, right? Oh, yeah. Is that because, I mean, are you so difficult to work with? I mean, you look like a pleasant guy. I can be very difficult, yeah. Um, no, no. I mean, I'm sure anybody is. You know, everyone, everyone has their moments. But um, it wasn't so much that. It was certain people maybe didn't want to go the long haul of touring as much as we do. Some people didn't fit musically. Some people didn't fit uh, personality-wise. I mean, it, all, it ran the gamut. I mean, we had ex-members before the first album came out. So it's just been, you know, it's just been lucky, uh, you know, having a bit of a stroke of uh, bad luck to get to the good luck of finding the people that we have now. And these guys, Tyler's been with us now. He's the newest member. He's been with us over three years. So. I can't be that difficult. Three years. <laughs> well, it's a tough job. I mean, it sounds fun, like having beers backstage and traveling the world. But it, I mean, you have long hours, right? And it's straining. Yeah, yeah. You know, the the music playing the music part's easy. You know, it's the the rest of it that's kind of taxing sometimes. But <clears throat> it's cool. I mean, we get days off and we get to see the world. You know, and I can't think of too many jobs I'm qualified for that would allow me to do that. <laughs> so, I'm I'm taking it. I like it. <laughs> yeah. Somebody said it's better than pumping gas. Oh my God! Yeah, we're flipping eggs, which is probably the only other thing I'm I'm qualified for. So you worked in a bar, right? That's true. Yeah, restaurants, bars. That's about. Yeah, I don't have any education really at all. So this is really the only thing I'm qualified for. Another fun story that I read about you is that you you're you, you taught yourself how to play, mm -hmm. and sometimes you would come into the studio and say like, Hey guys, I got something that sounds really good, like this, and and somebody would tell you. Hey, Ben, that's actually a C chord you got there. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm still trying to figure that out. The whole the whole playing music properly thing, but that's also part of the charm I think about it is stumbling upon a lot of weird sounds or what are normal sounds to other people. Um, I get to discover every day that they already exist, but for me, I feel like I'm inventing something, you know? 
But do you get better? I mean, does your music get better when you learn more? Is it maybe worse? It's hard I to don't tell. know. Maybe it is. You know? Maybe yeah. If, maybe if people t teach you stuff that already people, other people already invented, that you're not that's creative. Exactly. Yeah. I, I've actually been trying to write a lot of stuff, going back to the old way of detuning the guitars and having no idea what where to put my hands or you know where to put any sort of um, any sort of shapes for yeah. chords yeah. Um, and just try to stumble upon stuff to try to kind of recapture what it is I I guess following the breadcrumbs back to where I started you know you actually did that so that's not a joke you detuned the guitars and started playing looking for sounds yeah yeah I had no idea even how to hold my hands so it's whatever was comfortable you know so yeah and I, that's why I have to carry like 10 guitars on tour because they're all in different weird tunings that don't exist you know so if you lose the tuning you can't ever, you can't, it's impossible to, to reproduce yeah. a song. Well, luckily I've written them down everywhere to make sure I don't ever lose them completely. But, um, yeah, it's, it's strange, man. It gives our, our uh, guitar techs quite a workout. <laughs> hey, back to the album. What a beautiful artwork. We already talked about that. A song that I really like, uh, Laredo also. Yeah, yeah. Why write a song like that uh, about Laredo? I don't know. I have no idea. <laughs> kind of like playing guitar. It's like whatever, sometimes things just tap me on the shoulder and, and ask asked to be written and that was one of those ones where I wasn't trying to really write a song about a specific anything but and I don't really think there is any specific anything in that song it's all kind of inside jokes and crappy lyrics as usual you know it's always like if you're a fan of your music and or uh, and you really like the stuff you really live into the lyrics to find out that it's all a joke actually oh yeah I think maybe some people have really deep feelings about that song man I know it's strange man you know like I was um <laughs> I was listening to um, the Beatles today on the ride over here. I was listening to um, It's All Too Much, you know that song? Yeah, yeah, Where it's like, all the world is birthday yeah, cake. Yeah. You know, you gotta wonder if George Martin was in there like, couldn't, not, not, I mean, everything seems like, you know, some, sometimes you like, I, at least myself when I'm writing, I'm like, God, I wish there, I had a deep meaning to come up <laughs> with this beautiful melody right now, but this is the thing that's hilarious to me or it's the only thing that really popped up first in my mind. So I'm gonna keep it pure that way. But sometimes you're like, Oh, I had a chance to write a really meaningful song. Dang it. <laughs> next time. Probably not. Better luck next time. Hey, you yeah. met the boss. How was that? So cool, man. Yeah? So cool. Yeah, kind of scary at first because he came up and, uh, and was watching us on the stage. And um, we had just finished our set. And uh, it was a festival set in America. And um, one of our management team was like, I think you guys need to get back out there and play a couple more because the boss is watching. We're like, yeah, you're probably right. So we, but we didn't have any old songs to play. We had to play new songs that, we, that hadn't come out yet. So it was all just for him, basically. I don't know if he enjoyed it, but he sure was nice to us. So. Uh, that's cool. Did you ever meet Willie Nelson, actually? Yeah, we got to play in, in, uh, in uh, Maui with Willie Nelson and go to his house, go to a poker game. No way. It was mind-blowing. I still barely believe it actually happened. How good is he at poker? <laughs> it's eyes behind the grin. What a, yeah, <laughs> it seems like he was doing pretty good, man. Cause they, I mean, but all he left without clothes. They all, yeah, they all had stacks of like hundreds, man. We were like, we'll just hang out and, and watch, you know. I don't think we're gonna let Willie take our money like that. <laughs> hey, talking about money, you're very self-made, right? You did every buck yourself. You start your own record label. Uh, you created all your own songs. You uh, uh, learned, you taught yourself how to play. I mean, you're you're very do-it-yourself. Well, yeah, I didn't really have any other option, and honestly, I just, I was in this band playing drums, and it broke up, the band broke up, and I just, I needed to do something, so I also kind of figured if I can complain about other songs on the radio, then I should force my, yeah, I should, well, I should at least, you know, try it myself before I can, you know, throw a stone or, you know, call the kettle black, so, um, yeah, I just figured I had to do something, so here but, I am. But it must have been really tough, I mean trying to make a living with no money and Jesus man well man I've done that my whole life so I don't know I'm kind of used to that more than anything this is this is getting used you know it's tough to get used to here is it also a magic feeling nowhere to go and yeah no it's it's man it's just the best the best dream every day you know one more thing that uh, that struck me is that you used to listen to Husker do a lot yeah yeah it sounds like an influence well, it's funny, a lot of this record was um, written in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Um, so that's where I was living at the time. So a lot of replacements and Husker Du and um, just a lot of the music that comes from that area um, ended up seeping in a lot. But yeah, I grew up listening to like Black Flag and Crass oh, and shit. oh my God. Yeah, I mean, I got like weird punk band tattoos all over me from being like a little little ruffian when I was younger. Now I've gotten all soft in my old age. Now you got to hide the tats. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I'm trying my best.
<laughs> Jesus, man, you really do have extreme tats. Wow. Yeah. Nice. Did you ever feel bad that you had them? No, no, they're they're hilarious for like my kid and stuff, you know. Um, no, I, I mean they're silly. There's ones that I had some really bad taste. I was really young and um, tattoos were illegal in the state where I live. Really? Yeah, but I would go to like white trash um, like trailer parks and get tattooed by dudes that were like about to beat their dog and shit. It was okay, yeah. it was pretty terrifying. But yeah, I just I was young and didn't need the money. I guess I just I was I had bad taste and I wanted to show it off. Well, your taste certainly turned uh, in the right direction. Hey, you know, the, the last one thing I wanted to want to ask you is that I found on your website that it's possible to skate with you guys. Yeah, oh, yeah, right? yeah. Creighton, our drummer, is is real into skating, always has been, and um, yeah, we're holding a contest to have um, some lucky two dudes come out and skate at the girl warehouse. This, uh, yeah, it seems like it's going to be pretty cool. Definitely. Yeah. Hey, thanks so much for this interview, and I uh, hope you. I know your gig is going to be fantastic. I sure hope so. Thanks for the help.